Hi guys, we are going to make this robot toy which will try to avoid your touch. If you bring your hand close to it, it will try to avoid it. And if you disturb it too much, it will try to run away. See? It's running away. Now how to make it? To make, first you need to old CD. Now you need to small piece of plastic to close the central hole. So use super glue to stick the piece of plastic there like this. Now let it dry. In the meantime, you need a DC motor, a gear DC motor and a aluminum strip. Now measure the distance between the holes in the motor which is used to clamp it. Now put all the distance required on the aluminum. and bend it like this. One side the bend is more and one hole at the center. Other side the bend is less and two holes both the side. Now find out the center of this CD. Use a scale and find the center. Mark it and using a drill machine or a hot needle make a hole there. Now first, fit the motor with the shorter arm of the clamp using screw and nut. Now take one CD at the center, put a screw and tighten it on the other side with a nut like this. This CD will be a free rotating wheel. So use a, another nut to fit it with the longer arm of the clamp. Now fit the other CD directly with the motor shaft using a screw. Thus the mechanical structure is ready. Now this is the proximity detector. This is the circuit I have used. Stick that circuit at the center of the clamp. Connect the motor. Now you have to power up. So you can use to triple A battery you can use some rechargeable nickel cadmium battery. You can use 3.7 volt LiPo batteries. So let's take the LiPo battery, stick it on the aluminum clamp and power up the circuit. Now when you bring your hand close, see the motor is rotating. Actually, this is infrared sensor. So when you bring your hand close, the infrared get reflected back and switch on the motor. Thus, the motor will start rotating and in trying to move. At the moment it will move little more, infrared will get reflected from the ground itself and give it a momentum. And with the momentum, it will move even more and thus will get a continuous reflection Will start moving and give you a random motion like this hope you enjoyed try your own